Hello everybody, welcome to um, this live stream today which um, hopefully will not freak too many of you out. I'm Steffi from The Makers um, and I will say it up front, I really don't like spiders myself so I am not looking at pictures or anything like that to um, make a particularly realistic one. For me just something with blood, black legs and a big body in the middle, that's enough for a spider. But we're starting with a broom and I think that's much, much uh, better to start with this because then if um, some of you need to leave us because it's um, it's too scary for you then um, that's absolutely fine I'm totally with you on this just imagine what I feel like I've got to make these these things um, so as you know uh, we're, we're uh, known for our needle felting and uh, doll making and we've got pack dolls and we love all things woolly and today is very little needle felting especially with a broom like this I think you struggle to needle felt anything on there. So it's a bit of a fun project um, in order to get ready for our witch and wizard. And um, these are obviously all needle felted. Scary witch there um, with a tooth, with one tooth and lots of um, um, warts on her face. She's got some cool hair. Um, in fact, my dress matches the witch today, of course. And then uh, you can also make a wizard with quite a, a fancy hat here um, and he's got um, glasses and he's got a wand as well. So uh, we've just started um, selling the witch and wizard packs so you can make with the live stream um, make along you can make one of them however the pack makes two so you get a massive big pack here with all the ingredients to make both but during the live stream you probably just will want to make one and you can do either so i will be um because they're very similar made and uh, there's slight variations with the facial um bits and on the, the shape of the hat is slightly different but everything else is pretty much the same and of course you get the witch instructions and the wizard instructions with it and the um, project that we are making together will have the simple hand so that you get everything to make a simple hand like this. It's like a fist rather than the more complex um, fingered hand, which I've still got here from the wire tutorial, that one. You won't be making these with me, <coughs> excuse me. But if you uh, want to make these, you can actually make the, um, the witch and the wizard with these hands. You just have to get your separate hand pack, which we also um, of course sell and then you um, can make the witch and wizard with the fingered hands rather than the simple hand so that's entirely up to you if you want to upgrade if you like then you can of course do that um, but that's all ready now to put in your shopping basket because they're ready to be shipped out and they have got the eyes the pipe cleaner they've got the different um, types of wire that you need for his glasses but also just for making the base and the hands and um, and then of course they have the curls like he's got some grey curls he's a wise old wizard and she's got some funky coloured curls because she's a funky old witch that one so they're going to be watching me making a broom today because um, I think she's off somewhere before um, the live stream tutorial if you see a witch flying through the sky somewhere then um, yeah, you know, it's one of ours. So this is what we're doing today. And in a minute, I'm going to just have a quick look and see who is here today, just to check in how many people are uh, sitting there with a pillow in front of their faces um, because they don't like spiders. Um, so of course, Emma is with us. She is um, the rock there, keeping everybody posted with links and extra information. Um, we've got Laura and Mo. Um, Hi, nice to see you Mo. I hope you're okay. I know you've had again um, or still a bit of a rough time. Um, Diane is there mm, and, and Diane says she'll be here but closing my eyes to the spider make as don't like them. I have however bought, okay, I'm not allowed to say that word now, um, the um, um, what did we say? Wicked Witch Kit. Yes, anyway, Diane, um, another Diane says hi Steffi and Felting Groupies. Um, uh have on live feed um 
Okay, I, I can't make sense of that comment, but that's okay. I should also say, if you have already got all the ingredients to do the witch and the wizard, then we also just have the PDF uh, tutorial that you can buy from us and download and then uh, uh, print it off yourself at your end. So um, that is ready and available as well because Emma's been working very hard. Um, oh dear, oh I see. Oh, I see. Um, so I think Diane has got a life okay i can't i'm sorry diana can't make sense of this but I, I won't i won't linger i'm sure that it makes perfect sense it's just me who can't make sense of it um oh i see she's not she's taking her glasses off so she can't see properly okay um oh yes and before you for before i forget give us the thumbs up on on the um bottom part of the screen um because the more thumbs up we're getting the the higher our um video when it later becomes a video will rank and then if somebody puts in broom and spider hopefully we're the first ones so um jane says hi steffi emma and felting friends i'm not able to join the live stream today as i'm with my daughter and family we'll definitely catch up later have fun well give them all a massive big hug because i know your daughter very well i haven't met your granddaughter but i'm sure um that will all happen in due course so um big hugs to all well you, I suppose you can hack them. I can't. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna have some of my special peppermint tea to um, help me with my dry throat. If you haven't got our maker's mug yet, it's still time to get it because, as everybody knows, the tea tastes much nicer in there. And um, of course, you are joining us right now in our happy place. And remember to join our Facebook group, Everyone a Maker, as well. Oh. Teresa is there. Oh, that's better. Carol is there. Margaret is there. She loves the hands. Um, Erica is there. And Alicia is there. Gosh, your, um, Alicia was here with us this morning, but she's made it back home, um, whizzing from here to there. Um, Pamela is there from Oregon, I think. So um, must be early for you again. And i um, really looking forward to stabbing along with the witch and wizard. I've also got the hand pack too. Excellent. I'm so excited to do these, these two um, or at least one character with you and to see yours come to life. Because I just, when, when I first made them, it was so much fun to give them these real, like, characteristic expressions for witch and wizard. So it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, Donna is there. Laura is there. Probably said that already. Um, Serena is there. Hi everyone. I'm going to make the finger hands hopefully. Great, 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 great. Um, and who else? Dawn is there. Hi Dawn. Um, Claire probably said that already. Oh dear, my brain, honestly. Okay, that's it. Let's start on um, what we're here to do, which is first of all the broom. And for this, I'm going to just remind you um, what we're using. We're using horsetail grass. Now, if you watched me um, a week or so ago, I had this. I picked this fresh from the side of the river bank, and it. I hung it upside down to dry, and um, whilst it's still looking a bit green, it's definitely dry. So, if I if I squeeze it a lot, um, it it breaks. So I I don't want to do that. But this is what it looks like: the horsetail grass dry now, and um, it's perfect broom making material. Certainly for a miniature broom, it probably works for big broom as well. So I'm going to um, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to keep the white background because my green mat probably doesn't look so great. But I'm going to go really small now so I can show you what is happening here. So there's the horsetail grass. And um, I've been hunting for sticks as well. In fact, I forgot that I didn't have them here. So I've just uh, um, brought in any kind sort of sticks that I could just find that had actually been broken off um, by the wind. And um, it's good to, to find one that's sort of relatively straight, um, which none of them are, but that doesn't matter. We have a, a crooked witch with a crooked, crooked broom, so that's that's okay. So I'm gonna go for this one here, I think. And the other thing you need is, is string to wrap around the outside. Now, I really quite like using wire, um, and I'm using some pipe cleaner here. And the reason why I like that is because as this, as this um, grass continues to dry, it shrinks. And sometimes you just have to um, fasten the wire a little bit tighter so the, the bristles don't slip out. And um, it works best if you have a wire that you can just slightly undo and tighten it a bit more. 
um and that that basically that's what i like i'm using this um it's it's one of the pipe cleaner um colors that we sell it's sort of almost like a mushroom color here and that will work really well for blending in with the rest of the broom but if you've got any other pipe cleaner even if you've got a dark brown or black that will be absolutely fine too so i'm going to now first of all um take some of these um bristles off and i've got my scissors at the ready it's it it's um it's a strange thing this grass so if you if you go in the direction of how it um it grows it's smooth but as soon as you go the other way it's like you get stuck your fingers can't move it's like it's got little scales um on it so i'm just literally cutting some of this off and i'm putting that to one side here i'm working my way around so i'm cutting enough I'm not worried so much that it's all different lengths at the moment. I'm going as long as I possibly can. Um, and it does actually look a little bit like a, um, a horse tail, though it is not um, advisable to have this anywhere near your hooved, hooved um, animals um, because apparently it's toxic for them. So don't have this lying around where you've got um, some animals that might want to eat it. These are, these are the hooved kinds of animals. Um, there we are, and more. There's absolutely plenty there now to make at least one broom. So I'm going to put the rest away. It is a little bit messy. I will give you that. So, and excuse me, just for a minute. I've just had a camera collapse down on me, so I won't be using the other camera. Right. Um, so there's a, a nice neat pile of horsetail um, bristles, and I'm leaving them all running in one direction. And then I've got my my uh, broomstick here and all i'm going to do now is pick these up as best as i can and i'm literally inserting this inside the broom handle now if you want to make sure that this definitely stays on um totally then you can um put a little bit of glue um on on the stick around it that's not entirely necessary but if you want to do that to make sure that there's no wriggle room for them at all then you can do that but i'm just going to put that in there now like that and then i'm using the pipe cleaner and i wrap it really tight around the edge the end rather as tight as i can and then where the other end is i just sort of twist it around it to secure it so this is as tight as i can um so that i can't pull these bristles out now so they're um secure in there and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to neaten out these bristles here at the end so they're all same size and then i'm going to shorten the broom there might be the odd one that's falling out just let them come out in case they haven't been caught in your um, tightening um, exercise and then you just shorten the broom to the size you want it to be and there you are you've made a broom it's as simple as that how easy is that so as i said you can put a bit of glue underneath here and that will just give it extra strength and in time um you might find i'm just letting the bits fall out that want to fall out in time you might find in fact i can sweep them away there clean this up nice and clean now um what you might find is like with this one here if you stand it so it's sort of slightly on on the side it looks more like it's a really used broom and um and um, that that gives it quite a nice impression so remember this is just for decoration don't start um, sweeping your front room with it or your kitchen floor it is just for decoration so that when we come to wait for it when we come to the witch going off on her on her broom then um, she's got one and she's gonna go flying off into where God knows wherever where she we're going into witchdom that's where she's going into witchdom so um or you can just pose her with her broom in her hand because you've got um whether you make the simple hand or whether you make um 
the finger hand you've definitely got um, in a wire, wire there to wrap around the broom and then she can just hold it and um, be ready when she's ready to fly off so if anybody needs to see that again I'm more than happy to show that again I've still got enough to make a second broom and um, but I think it's quite easy to do that it is a messy affair I'll give you that but it is just for decorative purposes so um, if little bits keep falling out that's just the nature of it and um, like I said if you want to you can put a little bit of glue if you've got a glue gun then that's better still um, um, or just put just literally cover the this bit underneath where you wrap it tight with a wire just come a bit closer so you can see it um, just put that put a little bit of glue on there and that will help fasten the bristles on and as I say if your horsetail grass is not quite dry it will shrink because the drying process obviously um, all the moisture absorbs um, sorry um, not absorbs um, the moisture con um, ah what's the word now I can't think of the word but the moisture goes out and therefore it will shrink in size so you might have to redo that um, that wrap around there again but if you have used string you could just wrap more string around it and cut the old one off um, if that is easier for you there you go that's the broom done and um, we're now moving on to um, spiders but before I do that I just have a quick look who's um, who's commenting at the moment and what's going on here so just bear with me right um, so we've got Ah, that's the word, yes, evaporate. Thank you, that, that's what I was looking for. So um, if you're looking for measurements, I've just read, read a comment here. So the measurement is really dependent on your size um, of the project. So mine, my finished broom measures 27 centimeters. So it's, um, it's literally that long and the stick itself it was about 20 centimeters long. So the bristles that I've put on there it originally were obviously much longer, but they were about um, 12 centimeters. They're about 12 centimeters um, finished now. The, it all depends what size broom you want to make, but I would say that you don't definitely don't need a finished sized broom that's longer than 28 centimeters. Mine is just under 28 centimeters and the stick itself was about um, 18 centimeters uh, to 20 centimeters and um and there it is there you are so if um any of you wants to see this again i think i've got enough time because the spiders won't take so long so i'm going to do it again just um just so that you can see it all happening all over again i've got enough materials here to do it again i put that green mat away because you um can't really see um the broom very well on that so i'm sticking with the white and I will just go to this close-up camera again and we'll do it again. Right, so I'm looking for my um, brooms, broomsticks that I've been looking for. So um, let's try, let's make a smaller one because you don't need to make um, a big one if you've only got a small witch or if the witch will only be small. Um, the witch itself, by the way, is um, approximately, let's just measure her. She's about with a tall hat she's probably about 30 centimeters tall and the wizard is slightly taller because it's a bit skinnier um, and therefore taller so the the broom itself that I've made there you go you can see it all in uh, next to each other the broom is about the same length as the witch if, if that helps at all but it, it is quite a large broom the, the first one that I made is a little bit smaller as you can see here okay so let's um, start with another stick I use a um I use this well let's use this one that's the straightest I have here this one here and then you take your horsetail grass if you haven't got horsetail grass but you're using straw or anything like that it's the same principle just take as many um of these straight bristles as you can manage and I'm cutting this I'm cutting this off here and then cutting more so I'm literally just cutting them at the longest length and putting them on to one side um, I guess with the horsetail um, some some of it you can even cut where the stalk is as long as you don't see the stalk in the bristles um, which is fine I'm getting 
to the end of my supply here um, some more it's always best to have a little bit more um, because the, the the bristles as you can see they can sort of um, fall out um, when they're not fully um, yeah when they just sort of few slip through the the tie so I've, I've pretty much emptied this um, bit out now I'm putting that to one side I've got my my broom handle here and I've got my little pile of um, of horsetail grass there so whether you have got a little pile of straw there or anything like that that might be the case and um, I'm going to um, show you what I meant by using glue but somebody has taken my glue bottle oh no no somebody, nobody has oh, it's always great to blame somebody else isn't it I've got the glue bottle here right so what I meant about putting glue on it is that you um, I put the glue on this end here you just basically um, put glue around here just really pile it on and if you've got a glue gun then you can do that too but you've got to be fast I guess because that dries so much faster so I'm putting glue on here it's hard to see it um, with a white uh, that's why I'm holding it above the grass so you can see I put lots of glue on obviously that will take a little bit longer to dry so that's just another way of making it a bit more secure there, yeah. that way. Then you have to have your uh, grass ready and then just put the stick, hide it inside so it's completely hidden in there. Hold it tight and some of the bits will already come out. And then I am using a pipe cleaner, a brown pipe cleaner, but you can use a string if you want to. The principle is the same you literally go round it as tight as you can so that um, you're trapping the horsetail grass there and then fasten it I, I'm just twisting the pipe cleaner shut um, but obviously if you've got a string you've got to put a knot on there and then the first thing I do is I'm going to cut the uh, wispy ends or the bristly ends here so that they're straight on the handle it's not necessary it just looks nicer and um, so I've got my broom here there and then I'm just cutting let some of these bits fall out that I haven't actually caught and then I'm just going to straighten this by cutting it short there and from here to there um, that is about let me just measure that from here to there that's about seven centimeters so from from the tie to the tip that I've cut short is about seven centimeters, which is very similar to this. Um, this is even a bit shorter. So I've got three sizes here now. This is the largest, the second, and then the shortest here. So that's um, as a, so it doesn't really a few centimeters here or there or a couple of inches here and there it doesn't really matter. It um, it will look just as nice with your which um, how however short or long it is because they don't have to have. Um, long brooms they can have short brooms as well so i hope that has been helpful just to see that one more time um and um the best what the best um um decoration to use this with obviously is our wizard and our witch which uh, will come up as a tutorial in september it is it goes over three weeks because we do one step at a time and it's always one um, live stream that um, uh, consists of one step and there will be three different live streams so over three weeks um, and I think that's probably go back to me to me now um, while I'm while I'm this is a natural break while I am talking about we've still got a few days left for our mouse competition in fact we've got 10 if you don't know about this yet it's the celebrity mice you make a mouse um however you want to make them whatever color you want to make them and um ideally you make them as a celebrity so if you um can tweet your mouse with a hashtag and it's coming up just bear with me with a has hashtag um makers mice with two s's um, tag us as well at the makers and then tag your celebrity as well you can tweet it directly 
but if you're not on Twitter or you don't know how to do it then send it to us either email it to us or post it on everyone a maker on our Facebook group if you're not a member on there yet then I don't know what you're waiting for and uh, you've got until the 31st of August and the person or the mouse I should say that gets the most retweets will uh, win a 50 pound makers voucher now with Twitter I don't know how familiar you are with Twitter but with Twitter you can um, it's not about how long it's been there you could literally tweet something on the 31st of August and get the most retweet it just depends how much it hits the vein um, how much it just you know hits the spot um, of the people out there and that's why we're also saying if you've already tweeted your mouse then just tweet it again with a slight change so maybe I don't know give it something else in this hand or make another mouse to go with it or um, so there is there is no limit of how often you can tweet your mouse you can tweet them lots and lots of times I'm tidying up here because I want to get ready for the spider I hope I'm not losing too many of you but before I move to the spiders I will just have I just have a look who's here and I should also just say that of course if you're watching this um, after the 31st of August um, 2020 then the competition obviously isn't taking place anymore this is just for um, for the current viewers um, up until the 31st of August so um, what have we who else have we got um, Mo is home from hospital and doing better than I was. Oh, that's really good news. I'm, I've been thinking about you and keeping my fingers crossed. Um, uh, just reading. I'm trying to read the bits that um, might be interesting for, uh, for those who are watching later. Um, yes, Pamela is in Oregon. 7 a.m. is working better than 6 a.m. Thank you for the schedule change. Oh dear, I've got bad news, Pamela. We are cha we're changing our um, our whole live stream concept and it's going to be called the Makers Make Along. And we're going to do this every Tuesday at 1 p.m. But don't worry, Pamela, because we will um, re-stream it as a repeat on Thursday evening at 7 p.m. via Facebook. So which will, will be a live stream because we'll be there also. Um, obviously, it's pre-recorded what you will be seeing, but we, we individuals, we people will be there during watching it with you guys so that we can still talk to you and we can still interact with you. And that's going to be the format of how we're going forward for the rest of the year. And we'll just see how that goes because we're missing out on so many people in um, non-European countries who just it's either some god forsaken hour in the morning or it's way too late in the evening so we want we want to reach all of you and um i don't know um maybe pamela you can give us the the heads up that that might actually work for you because i think 1 p.m our time is definitely very very early in the morning so um would you be able to do this on facebook that's the question basically um so Yay, quick and easy. I think that's a reference to the broom. Tamsing is there. I don't have any horsetail plants nearby. Do you think long pine needles would work okay? I think they'd probably make the broom smell quite nice as well. Yeah, go for it. Um, I was actually thinking that um, the horsetail looked a little bit like one of those um, pine trees with a really long... That's a really good idea. It's probably even a bit more robust because they're a bit more rubbery. This stuff's quite brittle and breaks quite easily so I think that's a really good idea pine needles uh, long pine needles and it smells nice excellent um, so Carol says can't wait to make the witch and wizard perhaps persuade hubby to buy me the kit for my birthday mid-September yay why ever not um, I should also say that um, as, as it's a new pack and uh, it's to go along with the live streams you're actually getting it um, cheaper than it normally is and it works out um, at just over 10%. So the pack is £20 and just imagine it makes two. How um, amazing is that? And uh, maybe I should also say that we never have any objection if you want to make any um, projects from our books, kits, um, packs, 
inspiration or whatever and if you want to sell the finished product that's absolutely fine we don't have a problem with it if that helps you buy more supplies everybody wins and somebody will end up with a really amazing make as well so that's really good oh and uh, Pam's, Pamela says lavender stalks will also work excellent oh I'm, I love it how you've all um, obviously thought this through and looked for alternatives um, uh, Valley says um, hello lovely friends I finally made it was on an early shift oh I hope you haven't missed too much about the broom um, Laura says lavender is lovely idea um, Faith is there hello Faith nice to see you I've got a very tickly throat today so I'm gonna have a drink <coughs> I think it's all this talking this morning with Alicia I blame her hmm uh, lavender stalks is a great idea um says also emma so it must be must be right um i did ask for some horsetail grass in my last order <laughs> oh did you now did you actually get some um i i that missed missed me completely um i better send the kiddies out to grab some great idea remember you've got to dry it first but um yeah that that i mean you could i suppose you could put it somewhere where it dries faster um Oh, it's not a problem that you're late, Faith. Don't ever worry. Thamsin says, excellent. I shall go for a nature ramble and collect pine needles after we've made spiders. I've seen some mini brooms for sale in the local shops made of lavender. They look and smell lovely. Oh, that, I didn't, I've never seen a, a, a broom in a shop with uh, made from lavender. That's, a, that's actually a really good idea. You might be in there with a business idea. And um, of course, don't forget you need to collect a stick as well um if you're going out on a nature trail and um alicia is there alicia you've been here a while you said i everybody oh everybody that just joined in i thought you said you had just joined in um and i really want to try this lavender one now i have to um get some from where we live okay so this is now the warning for those who really 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 don't like spiders and I will say this, I am absolutely terrified of spiders. I've even had a spider, as if they knew I was going to make one today. I had a spider incident this morning and I get up really early. That's, I'm just an early bird. That's just, I go to bed early in the evening, but I get up really early. And would you believe it? There was this absolutely horrible spider sitting um, at the window frame. And I really, I'm, I'm really, I'm a really gentle soul. I really don't like harming creatures, but when it comes to spiders, I, 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 I just go into another place. I can't explain it. My heart rate goes up and adrenaline pumps through my, um, veins. And I'm, I'm, I'm like talking to myself, but it's more like panic stricken noises that I make like, Oh no, no. Oh, that, that was the beginning of a word, but I'm not going to say it. And, um, and I opened the window because it was really close by the window and I, I, I got a, um, a fish slice and I'm like, I'm like shaking in my boots like, come on, come on. And the flipping thing goes the opposite way and comes like, you know, when they go, when they go like this and I'm like, this really fast movement, movement. And I was absolutely, uh, that, that did me and I just couldn't, I stood there, my heart was pounding. I thought, who the hell can I ask for help now? Never ask your teenagers to help with spiders. That's never a good idea. I can tell you this now because they just pick them up and throw them at you or worse still, they just put them in a glass and w walk around. Oh, mom, look, oh, mom, look. So I never asked them for help. My husband was fast asleep. So um, yes, I had to deal with it and I did. But I'm not going to tell you how, because um, I, um, yes, I wasn't very nice to the spider. Um, but I'm making one today. And uh, so hopefully that will make up. One goes, another one comes. Um, that's how it goes. Um, anyway, let's move on to the spiders. If you need to go, then go. Or maybe just, I don't know, just look away and listen which whatever you might, you might not even want to listen because if you're a very visual person as I am, then you're probably imagining what I'm doing. But in any case, there are two ways of make of um, to make spiders. And for this, you could just use black pipe cleaners there. Or if you haven't got black pipe cleaners, but you've got any color but black, you can use um, other colored pipe cleaners and cover them up. Sorry, you can't even see them on that white. Oh, I need my I, I think I need my green now. Let's see how that works. Yeah, that works better. So white, I've got white pipe cleaners and I've got black pipe cleaners. And um, and then you need um, wool. So I've got here, um, I've got a brown wool top. I've got black wool bats 
and um oh i had some black i had some black um wool tops as well which um i put down somewhere and never to be found again that's what i do i walk around get these things and put them down somewhere and then they they um, basically disappear in any case so if you want to make a spider like this spider coming this is basically just the black pipe cleaner legs with um a wrapped up body and then it's felted down and they are you know that's pretty easy to make um, if you want to make a spider like this, do you like my spider web, by the way? I thought I'd get into the into the Halloween mood. There's the, there's the little ghosts. We'll be making them at some point. Lots of spider web. Somebody's not been dusting. Um, if you want to make one like this, this is more of a woolly spider. It's got spider web fibers on it now. Um, that's basically the white pipe cleaners wrapped in wool children love making these by the way um because you know children tend to like scaring people with spiders so if you have got children and you don't like spiders don't let them lose on this and i'm going to go um into a close-up now i will also show you that this project is actually in the making simple needle felt book and as you know, or maybe you don't know, but the book is split into seasonal chapters. It is in autumn. The spider is in autumn. And autumn starts. There's the spider. Um, let's show you the autumn project. So autumn projects are um, hairy spiders, mini apples and apple girl, toadstool, toadstool boy, mushroom, leaves um miniature pumpkin and pumpkin girl snail acorns gnome and pine cone gnomes so um if you're if you're getting ready or oh, i keep forgetting that if this camera has been turned around i'm okay <laughs> it's this is you see this i do so much on on camera that i'm so used to turn everything around for people to see and then sophie sat here for what for a couple of sessions and she just thought why don't I just turn the camera around? This is this is the difference between Sophie and me. So anyway, you've just been looking at this book um, on the top, but there you are. And also, I don't need to read now upside down, which is even better. I was really proud of myself reading upside down. So there's the hairy spider. So it is a project in the book as well, where you use the white pipe cleaner and then you just wrap it with wool. Um, I just continue flicking through because you might see some something else that um, is of interest got the leaves tutorial by the way is coming up um sophie will be doing that next week for you and we've done the pumpkins already so if you want to see that that's a really another great idea to do with children um at this time of the year you can find lots of empty snail shells sometimes they, they they're all in one place where birds i think have been um having their supper for um a year or something like that and then you can can wash them you can polish them and um now what was it um just gonna yes that's right um on here oh now i have to hold it this way the snail on here the first thing my daughter um who was um 14 or 15 at the time when the book came out she said mum that snail has got the snail shell the wrong way around on trust her to spot that straight away but that happens when you've got children who are little nature urchins they um she just spotted that straight away anyway that's the book if you haven't got it yet remember you get get it as a signed copy this one isn't signed i thought i could show you that but um yours will definitely be si be signed and there are 40 inspiring and seasonal projects in there and of course um good old kirsty Olsop um thinks that too that needle felting is a magic process and this is a magic book so i'm very grateful for her to um, have given us that uh, endorsement and if you buy the book from us i will just also say that um you can actually review it on um on amazon as well and that would actually help us believe it or not you don't have to have purchased it there to review it you can um re review it without a pur without purchasing it there and if you review the book um, that will bring it up as a small author into the Google rankings for us as well. Right, I'm um, stop fiddling with the pipe cleaners. I'll get to, into action. So I'm actually going to start with a slightly more complicated one. So you've got 
you and remember you might find a better way of doing this but i'm doing it as i've written in the book and um i know everybody's gonna have a fit now but i'm going to cut my pipe cleaners with scissors now now for this one i'm using i'm cutting the pipe cleaners into three um same length lengths and i know that the pipe cleaner is 30 centimeters long so i've got to cut um three 10 centimeter lengths that's how I'm doing this. One, two, three. Put this out of the way. One, two, three. So that is six now. Uh, yes, six. Sorry, I thought I couldn't count then. Um, so I need two more. So if you're using three pipe cleaners, you have um, one leg for the next spider already ready. There we go. So I've got my... Um, Oh no, hang on a second. What am I doing? Yes, no, I only need four. That makes two spiders because we're crossing them, of course. So, and now what you're doing is you have got your pipe cleaners here. You can, you can already start wrapping it with wool or you can just give them one twist and that makes it slightly easier to keep them. So twist them around each other. That makes it slightly easier to um, have them in the right place already. And then you do the same with the next one. Especially if you're doing this with children, then they have a, an easier an easier job just to um, cover them with wool. There you are. So now I've got like a star shape here. Okay, I'll show you lots of different ways how you can make them. So star shape here. And all you're going to do now is you take your wool. Ah, there's the top. I thought I thought I had some. Let's use a bit of top first. Take a strand of your black or whatever color you choose to do. And um, you're now going to start, because it's bendy, you can actually bend the, the pipe cleaner that you want to use so that it doesn't get caught on the others. And you're going to wrap the wool around it. Now, if you're doing a spider for a small child, then I definitely recommend wrap them up because you can bend the pipe cleaner ends in so that the sharp end of the pipe cleaner is hidden away so you don't have um, have these there and then you just give it a tight wrap all the way into the center if you're using wool bats it makes the spiders more hairy I'll show you that as well because they're, they're really they're done quite quickly and then you're going to go round the body sort of a bit more random at the moment because you're trying to get between um, each leg Remember, you've got seven more to cover, so there we are. Um, you can also determine the size of the legs if um, if you haven't been very precise as I haven't by bending them in more or less. So if they um, if the leg is is a little bit too long, then just bend it in a little bit more. So bend that in, and remember, you can bend the other legs out of the way so you've got. The full room to just wrap the legs up going round and round I will show you it's just as easy with wool butts I promise you um, and then just again get rid of the excess of the wool going around the legs and you can see where I'm going with this because you have to do this eight times in total and next one and the other legs out of the way round and round bend your leg in so that it, the wire is the sharp end is out of the way round and round I think since I've had children I've actually tried really hard to not be so, such a, a wuss around spiders um, because I didn't want them to have the same fear and um, I've managed with three of them but my my middle daughter she's um <laughs> she hates them as much as i do <laughs> yeah she definitely squeals when there is one but um the others seem to be quite um i don't know not bothered by them at all so uh, yeah and I, it, I used to hide my my fear of them so if if there was a spider when they were little i would just like 
okay we're just moving on going somewhere else while my heart was pounding and i was like oh my god i'm gonna get rid of this bloody thing now sorry i swore then sorry take it back right um go around there okay and around the body so whilst you're getting rid of all this excess wool you're at the same time you're actually building um building up the the body of the spider I'm not so worried at the moment um, in how the bend, the legs are bent or anything like that. I'm literally just going round the pipe cleaners and I'm not, there's no needle felting as you can tell. Bend the wire in, cover the rest of the leg and um, go round the body and then I've got two more to go. If the body gets quite um, full then you can of course use your felting needle and just stay I don't I'm not even I don't even have a felting mat just go along the wire don't step straight into it because you've got a lot of wire going on there just go on um, into the wool just so that it doesn't come off you turn it round as well and felt that down a little bit there we go oh and I've got three more to do not two more and eight legs is just no no good is it it's the eight legs that get to me and it's the it's the fast it's the fast movement and i know some some um people um live in countries obviously where they are really dangerous spiders um here they are obviously probably even more scared of us than um i am of them but um it's probably one of the reasons i wouldn't go to countries where there's big spiders it's just not for me um, and two more legs and then I, I thought that was best to do the slightly more complicated one so, or not it's not complicated it's just slightly longer do that one first and bend the legs out of the way there we are and get rid of that wool as well and then use the last bit for the last leg and then that's the spider almost done and what makes them um what makes them look more realistic is if you when you bend the legs into the right place and um you sort of shape shape them a little bit more so some people I know like giving them faces with eyes. Um, I'm not the keenest fan of that. Some of the legs are slightly shorter than others, but because you're bending them in down, I don't think it matters so much. It's just, it is so recognizable as a spider. So I don't think um, it, it, um, it needs to be anatomically totally correct. As I say, normally if I make an animal, I would look at an animal, a real animal as, a, uh, um, as an image and um, <laughs> And there's no way I'm going to look at a real spider to make this spider. So this is the best you're ever going to get from me um, making um, a spider for for Halloween if you have to. And um, and it's like I say, it's quite easy to do that. You could if you wanted to, because some spiders have got um, different color bodies. You could add another layer over the body. Some people put a cross across it. So if you wanted to add just a little, a different color to it, just wrap a bit of um, brown, dark brown or anything like that over it. Um, and then the stuff, stuff very gently into, um, into the body with your needle, hopefully mostly at, a, at an angle. So you're stabbing the, into the top of the wall rather than right into it. You, you'll know where the wire is because your needle will not like it. So um, I've just added a bit of brown over the top and um and that's that one done so that one's scurrying away now somewhere else um so that is uh, one way of making them and i will show you in a minute how to make um the other type with the uh using the black pipe cleaner as the legs where you don't have to cover them but then of course you will have with these you will have they're quite sharp ends so if you want to give them to children, then I would say definitely do the other variety, especially little children. These are they are they are 
they I mean anybody who's worked with pipe cleaners you do know they do they can be quite um, sharp the leg ends but if you're just doing it for decoration and no little hands will get to it then that's fine just have a quick look how we're doing with uh, comments if we've lost all of our viewers because of um, the topic so um, oh Diane says I'm listening but making a baby sloth well it's actually a very similar technique you're just wrapping pipe cleaner so um, and so uh, Deb says I once had a big spider between me and the bathroom door that was fun yes well it's I I literally I just don't know what to do with myself when I when I find them um, uh, Dawn says my grandson keeps them as pets my daughter is not allowed to move them <laughs> okay um, if they appear when the cats are around they don't stand a chance that is actually actually that's not a bad point because normally our little cat is there she comes and says hello um, to me in the morning and and she wants to be fed she could have had a nice juicy spider then but she wasn't around I don't know um, she must have been too early for her as well um, uh, yes the fish slice that was that's all that I could find faith so it was a, it wasn't it wasn't that was not the instrument of murder I must say um, I won't tell you how I got rid of the spider um, Spiders are good, they eat flies. Yes, I know, and I do want them to be alive, but just not around me. Um, and we, yeah, we do we do normally put them outside um, and I hide somewhere because like I said, the teenagers think it's hilarious to try and scare me with one. Um, what else? I'm listening, oh yeah, we've got that. Um, oh, <laughs> Alicia says mine is so gross. <laughs> Oh dear, that's hilarious. Um, so thought the colours were perfect. Um, so what? Oh yeah, that you've got you've got the mocha mi mix, Alicia, haven't you? It is a perfect uh, mix for making spiders because it's like all dark fibres uh, in there. Um, oh, Bridget says I just woke up and dozed off. Oh my god, I hope you're not um, scared of spiders. Um, oh, I hope. Um, so anyway, moving on, let's do the last um, bit of the spider um, version that um, is a lot a lot easier and quicker to make, but is a little bit less safe for little children. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a cop out, but but you can make them that way too. So um, you need um, the pipe cleaners. If you've got dark brown, I think you'd be allowed to use them too. And then um, again, you cut them. So obviously if you... If you this one I've cut four times so I've, I've already got um, four legs here if you uh, you can make them bigger um, this just makes a smaller spider so there is there's no real I mean if you cut the pipe cleaner in half and make a spider then you've obviously got um, one leg is about half the size of the pipe cleaner so you've just got bigger spiders that's um, basically the rule rule of thumb but if you want to make a spider that um, has got um, black legs that you don't need to wrap with wool then all you need to do is you lay the pipe cleaners out so that they are crisscrossing like that okay so I'm holding this now like a crisscross there and I'm actually going to use um, wool bats now so I'm just gonna put this down if you um, you've seen that when you wrap um, anything with bats you might have to tease them out a little bit so just just make them a little bit longer so you've got a longer strand of wool um, and obviously you're not tearing on it very hard anyway and so then you're just going to wrap as I did earlier um, when I got to the end of the um, pipe cleaner leg I wrapped around the body with this one you're wrapping around the body straight away all go all around um, all the legs now as you can tell some of the legs are getting a bit a bit shorter than others with this one you don't have to worry so much about that because you can pull them out once you've added the first sort of body wrap if you like so I've made um, a very simple wrap here and the legs that are slightly shorter you just pull out a little bit because they're not far they're not fixed really so you can make it a really even even legged spider 
and uh, with this one I would say do use your felting needle and just give it a few stops especially if you're using wool bats they do they're, they're a little bit less um, flat so they will look a little bit more um, fluffy and um, again I'm, I'm not even using a felting mat at the moment maybe I should let's get our earth mat our amazing earth mat out um, it just makes sure that you don't stop your fingers if any of you are watching um, Pam, Pamela Duffy on um, on her needle felting live streams I have absolutely no idea how she needle fells with um, with just holding everything in her hand I, I know she says that she um, has stopped herself regularly and that she's got sort of like calluses on the tips of her fingers but I, I don't know, I just can't do it. I have to have, I rather save my finger. I'm very squeamish about when it comes to fingers. So I've made sort of almost like a perfect star here. Now you can add a little bit more wool. Um, either you can add it by just taking wispy ends and laying them on top and just fastening them on to build, build up the bulk of the body like that. And at some point you have to decide um, where you're going to how you're going to bend the legs in so if you've got a if you imagine a spider that um, shape you will sort of have to like split the legs slightly so there is a, a, a gap there so many different types of spiders but as I said I am not even going to look at the real photos because it would just absolutely um, freak me out and um, and then you, again you bend the legs in like you did with the one that you wrapped with um, wool same thing and you've got your spider here now you can still work on the spider because that's sort of more of a shaped um, creature now obviously this one has got the body much more felted down so work on it from all directions underneath you could give it a head if you wanted to so um, add a head like I said people have given them eyes and made all kinds of um, variations of it um, so if you wanted to give it a bit of a head, just roll a bit of wool up into a separate shape. I'm just rolling this between my fingers and then decide where the front of the spider is. Just put the head there, felt it on around the edges and underneath as well. There. They're such easy little projects, so it's not, um, you know, especially if you're just making them for, for a bit of decoration fun, if you're not worried too much about making um, a completely um, realistic um, looking spider. The legs have gone a bit out of, um, so this one's got a head now. Um, I don't know if you can see that. And then, like I said, um, if you wanted to, you could give it eyes. Um, if you've got different color wool, um, I'm just grabbing something that I've got handy here in my jars. Um, we've still got our man the month for um, special edition jars is still on, so we'll be um, adding a, a, a couple of new colorways um, by the end of this week. I'm giving it eyes there, an eye and another eye and that's how how far I'm gonna go with this because I really don't like spiders so you can tell my heart's not in it but yours might be and if it is by all means share your spiders if you must on every one maker <laughs> on our Facebook page um, maybe just give give people the warning spider picture um, coming up or something like that I don't know um, I, I, I'm totally with you on this. Like I say, I've, I've got a lot better. I used to be so cross with um, people who decorate the sh their shops with Halloween spiders. Um, and I would just, I, I just wanted to go in and say, no, have you got no consideration for people who really don't like spiders? Because I didn't even want to walk past the shops um, if there was a spider in the, in the window for decoration. I really, really don't like them. There's just something about them I really don't like. Um, but that's, the only animal I don't like and I suppose we've all got things that we don't like I don't I don't know if that if that a spider looks like that with eyes any case mine mine do so there you are lots of um creepy crawly spiders on here oh that just looks awful um yeah 
Okay, <laughs> moving on. I'm not looking at them. You, you, you can if you want. Um, I'm just going to check in with everybody because we come to the end of this tutorial. Um, so you could leave the legs out and make a squash spider. Oh God, I was who was I telling? Oh, I think I told you guys this that um, there used to be lots of um, spider jokes about. Um, when I was a child and people would say what do you call a spider with no legs and somebody said it's a raisin and I couldn't eat raisins forever and ever because oh no oh no 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 somebody's saying here you could needlefeld fangs yes you could Laura I'm not um, and only have oh my goodness Emma is going into details now okay um, I can't I can't um, I can't even repeat repeat this. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, yes. So basically, Emma is saying remember, remember spiders are arachnids. That's how you pronounce it. Oh, I don't even know what that means. And only have two body segments. Okay, it's too too many as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um um bridget said my son is totally um arachnophobic so no spiders here um anyway we leave the spiders now i've got i've got moist i've got moist hands this is really pushing me to my to my edge um you know when you get like uh slightly clammy hands because you all kinds of thoughts are getting coming into your head and um, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna put these to one side. So remember, next um, next week you've got Sophie um, coming up with um, tutorials, and I think after that it's our uh, hol holidays done. I'm actually having another week off. We've taken turns, and I'm just gonna remind myself what we've actually got um, coming up. So, oh God, now I'm listening to myself here. That's no good. Um, uh emma just remind me again please what am i doing what's happening next week i've no idea um oh yes i do know um leaves and poppies so on tuesday it's um i think it's starting with leaves needle felted leaves so that's a new technique that we haven't covered here yet on our live streams it's a uh, needle felting with water soluble paper and um, i showed you a little bit in the book and that's at um 3 p.m and then on Thursday at 3 p.m. Um, this British summertime, it's poppies, which is, again, it's a similar technique, needle felting onto water solid soluble paper. And um, the poppy is a poppy brooch because it's coming up to that time of the year, dare I say it, where we might be wearing poppy brooches. And then maybe you want to raise money for um, charity making poppies. And um, the leaves, I just absolutely love the leaves when they're strung up and they can be hanging on your mantelpiece or decoration for autumn. They're absolutely amazing. I've done so many uh, needle felted leaves mini workshops where people use all kinds of things, all kinds of colors. They don't always have to be autumnal colors. They can also be blue and green and Angelina fiber can go in there so that you've got exciting um, um, live streams coming up. So tune in. Keep an eye out and it's at 3 p.m. on Tuesday and Thursday. And um, what else do I need to say anything else? You've done all the thumbs up, right? Um, and that's it, I think. Yeah, so take care, everybody. I will say bye bye now. I just have a last quick check. Um, everybody's saying thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, too. And um, oh, yes. And get your water soluble paper ordered now. Um, Alicia, thank you for reminding me of that one because then you're ready uh, to rock and with um, the needle felted leaves you probably got all the colors at home already so all you need is um, a little bit of fluff of wool definitely some water soluble paper if you've got a brush mat and a seven needle felting tool I'm almost certain Sophie will use that because she loves those um, two together otherwise your earth mat with your single needle felting um, needle or a three needle felting tool will be fine too you will need a little bowl of um, warm water to the side of you because it involves a little bit of water and um, I leave you totally in the capable hands of Sophie and until then until I see you again bye bye for now bye Get those spiders going.